Hi gorgeous! Today I'm taking you along with me and we are packing for Georgia. I'm going to show you everything that I take along with me in my makeup travel bag. That's as big as it gets. So going up to see my parents, I haven't seen them in a while and this is the first time that they are meeting Jet. So we are so excited for this visit. And by the way, I want to mention also that I'm sharing a picture of Jet today on Instagram. We're not going to be doing this very often, every now and then. He will not be in videos. I've mentioned that before, but we will be sharing pictures from time to time. So if you'd like to see an update on him, that will be available on Instagram today. Waiting on my hair to dry, and that's gonna be a while. So I figured it was a good time to start packing for this trip that we're getting ready to go on. And makeup is usually the first thing that I like to pack to get it out of the way, clear my head so I'm not having to sit there and think about it. And when I pack, I try to put everything into a small little case. So I'm using this one for this trip and I'm also using a Sephora bag for any excess that may overflow this. Now, there is a method to the madness when it comes to packing makeup, at least for me there is, and I generally go by each portion of the face. So I'll start with the eyes and then the face products and then the lip products. And actually it's the same way that I apply my makeup, but it makes sense. And I have found that if I don't do this and I'm jumping around the face while I'm packing, I always forget something. And usually the one product I'm always forgetting to take with me is a brow product. I don't know why. So that's become the first thing that I've started to pack. And for this trip, I'm gonna take the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Auburn. I love it. That's gonna go with me. Oh, an eyeshadow primer. We need an eyeshadow primer. I'm taking the NYX Proof It. Great stuff. For mascara, I am going to take the Lash Paradise Waterproof. New favorite. Can't live without it now. But I'm also gonna take my Guerlain mascara for days when I don't feel like washing off that Lash Paradise mascara. It does not move. Let me tell you, that stuff does not budge when you put it on your eyes. And I'm gonna need an eyeliner. So I'm gonna take the Eve Pearl Brown Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm also gonna take my Kat Von D one. I'm gonna try to find the travel size here because it's easy to stick in my little case. What else do I need here? I need eyelash adhesive. I'm taking the Kiss eyelash adhesive and I need an eye cream. So I'm gonna take the Olay Eyes Eye Lifting Serum. Still using this stuff, I love it. And I'm also going to take the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream because my Olay Eyes is running low and I don't wanna run out while I'm on this trip. Also taking a little pair of scissors because these always come in handy no matter where you are. Tweezers, yes, we need tweezers too. I'm gonna to take those. Eyelash curler, I'm gonna take an eyelash curler because you gotta have one of those. And a blending shade, Wet n Wild's Creme Brulee is my go-to, but I don't think I'm gonna take this one because it's got a big old hole in it. So I'm gonna go with one of my backups that I have up here, and I just painted my nails. So I'm gonna try to open this without chipping them, which is going to be impossible. All right, I have a little Creme Brulee backup in here. I actually have two. So I'm gonna take one of my newer ones on this trip and eyeliners, I'm gonna take some eyeliners with me too. I'm gonna to take the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in brown, which is one of my go-to favorites, and also the Nude one, another favorite of mine. And I'm not gonna take black on this trip. I'm starting to get away from black and use more browns and nudes anyway. Because this is such a short trip too, I'm not gonna take a bunch of eyeshadows with me. I usually don't. I tend to only take maybe one or two palettes when I do travel. And I'm gonna take this one. Carly Bible Deluxe Palette, the one that I am in love with right now. And in the lash drawer, I'm gonna take my favorites. The Inky Minky Lashes and White Lies. These are so natural, great for every day, my go-tos. I think I'm only gonna take one pair of those because you can get so many wears out of them, upwards of 10 to 15, so they'll be fine for this trip. See how far we've gotten with just eye products alone in there. It's taken up about maybe a quarter of our bag. Ooh, you know what else I do wanna take though? One eyeshadow that I'm always using that I'm sure I'll use on this trip. Urban Decay's Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. Gotta take that one. Moving on to the face. We'll start with concealer. And the one concealer that I'm always taking with me is the MAC Pro Longwear in shade NC15. So we're gonna pack that one. And for foundation, this may surprise you, but I am gonna be taking the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. I love it, what can I say? And it's, 
it's surpassing some of my high-end foundations, to be honest with you. And in conjunction with that, I'm also going to take the CoverGirl Outlast powder. I love them together. They last a long time on the face. And where I'm going, I'm going to need it. I usually only pack one foundation and powder, too. I don't find myself packing more than that because I've done that before and I never use both of them, so I don't even bother anymore. I'm also going to need a sunscreen, so I'm taking the Super Goop everyday sunscreen SPF of 50 must have moisturizer I completely forgot about moisturizer the one that I have actually been enjoying lately is the elf daily hydration moisturizer I've been using it on a consistent basis so I'm gonna pack that one plus it's really skinny and fits nicely in this bag Ooh, you know what I forgot hmm I'm almost thinking I want to take my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette with me too. Hmm. Only because I love this one. It's so easy to use on days when you don't feel creative. And I may have some days like that. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to pack this one with the Curly Bible Palette. I'm not taking any highlighters. Nope. I have built-in highlighter. I am going to pack the Rimmel Bronzer though because it's actually on my makeup table somewhere here. There it is. I have been liking it lately as a cheat color. So that one is gonna go with me. I'm only gonna pack one blush with me too, and it's one that I have been madly in love with lately. I was using a sample size of this and went through the sample, figured I needed to buy the full size, and that is Chanel's number 55 in love blush. This is a peach shade. It's really beautiful on fair skin tones. So if that describes you, you would love this color. Hmm. Just trying to think if I want to take anything else with me. Sometimes I'll just sit here and stare at the makeup. All right, moving on to lips. Well, we have to take Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. That is a given go-to lip color. My Too Faced Gloss and Peach Fuzz is in the diaper bag, so I'm just gonna leave it in there and know that it will go with me, but that's another go-to color favorite of mine right now. And what else do I want to take up here? Do I want to take any MAC lipsticks with me? Let me see which ones, any in here? Not really. I have my favorites in my purse usually, so I think I'll stick with those. You know what, Shy Girl. I'm gonna take Max Shy Girl because it's a really pretty peach and it'll go nicely with that Carly Bible palette too. Is there anything else that I want to take? Sometimes I just sit back and look at everything just to make sure I'm not missing anything. You know what? I think I want to take this color with me. This is Makeup Geek's Dosey -Si Doe. It's one of those liquid matte lipsticks that she came out with recently. So I think I'll take that one. I don't really care for how they wear. I don't find that they wear that long on the lips, but I do like the color range and this color in particular, so pretty. You know what? I do want to take a setting spray. I'm going to take the NYX Matte Finish setting spray. And the only reason I'm taking this is to mix with my Midnight Cowboy Rides Again eyeshadow. Sometimes I like to apply that wet on the center of the lid, and the best way to do that is with a setting spray. Anything in the drawer? Oh, you know what? Hmm. I want to take this too. Do I want to take it? I don't know. The NARS Multiple Blush Stick and Orgasm. That is one of my go-to favorites. I really like that one. I think I have to take it. Um, yep, mm -hmm, had to take it. Okay, I think that's everything that I'm taking with me. And this little bag is now filled to this point right here. So that is plenty for me to take with me for five days. Really don't need more than that. I mean, I could pare this down even more if I wanted to, but these to me are the essentials that I would feel confident with having on a trip. I usually pack my makeup brushes separately too. I'll put them in a little pouch that I have that's about this size. They fit perfectly in there. And I will take probably three eyeshadow brushes, a couple makeup sponges, the L'Oreal one for concealer, and the Posh one that I love so much for the rest of my face, and then my Eve Pearl fan brush because I can't live without this one. But that's generally about it. And for my hair, I don't think I'm going to pack my blow dryer on this trip. It'll be the first trip where I'm not packing my blow dryer. I'm just going to pack my Diva Curl Styling Cream and go curly because it's supposed to rain the whole time I'm up in Georgia. It's like it's been doing nothing but raining down here in Florida nonstop and I'm getting ready to go to more rain. And you know, you have big curly hair like this. What's the point in blow drying when you're just going to step outside and it's going to go Pfft. Well, this hair is dry and I'm ready to start filming for the day. So I hope that you enjoyed packing with me, getting ready to go to Georgia 
and let me know what you would put in your makeup travel bag. Do we have anything in common? How big is your bag? Is it bigger than this? Let me know. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time.